Good morning internet. Today we will be removing the old automatic pedals and replacing them with some manual ones along with giving the crusty old brake booster some love. You may hear some funky sounds in the background here and there. One of the flatmates cars unfortunately had an incident where sick ended up all over the inside of the car and so there was a detailer over giving the interior a commercial clean that even Dexter would be proud of. Okay. First task is to suck up all of the brake fluid in the booster. Now, removing the brake booster isn't necessary for the job, but I had noticed some bubbling in the paintwork just below that I wanted to investigate. We'll also take the chance to tidy up the booster as well, as the paintwork on that is a little worse for wear. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't the official way or the proper way of removing fluid, so if there is actually a, you know, a more official way or simpler way of extracting it, please do let me know in the comments. <laughs> So that, we're just using a, it's one of those like, I don't even know what you call them, like an almost completely closed spanner. This is a 10 mil to loosen these two bolts. Uh, did we loosen anything else prior to this? Oh, it's leaking. To slow the leaking of fluid, we wrapped up the lines with paper towels and then some plastic, which we then secured with a couple of zip ties. Even though this isn't the official way, it's a brilliant way to make you think it works while stealthily dripping paint stripping goodness all over that 35 year old paint. Alrighty, so these are all cable tied up and safe. We'll have to move on to the inside now. So this is all guesswork and again I don't know if the camera actually sees squat but there's a there's a pin here that I think you pull and then I'll put the pin somewhere safe um, on the door. The and then there's, and it's really hard because I've got no space, and then there's a spring here that I need to just loosen. Oh no, camera, come back! There's a pin that you have to pull out. Pin is loose as a goose, and then there's these bolts, which I have no idea if you can see them. And I think they're a 12. One, two, three, four. And then there's one right in the middle, bang smack at the top, and, and this one as well which connects to the steering column although like again i have no idea what the camera can see but yeah there's a bunch of bolts there's a lot of rust on this so apparently it's really common for these to fail and when they fail the sort of tell is the brake pedal assembly is rotten to fuck and the brake booster is quite rusty and i've got both of those but then you look at these like boots and stuff and they look quite new so my parts guy my parts guy he's basically my it's basically an AW11 drug dealer. Um, he reckons it might have been rebuilt, in which case, tidy it. But we don't know until I've pulled, pulled it apart. Oh god, close your eyes, don't take in any of the Oh, there's so much coming down. Are you regretting vacuum as yesterday? I vacuumed it so that my face wouldn't be covered in foot juice, but now my face is just gonna get covered in- Rust juice. Yeah, which might be worse to be honest. So I can't move my head because the GoPro is now resting on my head. One bolt, two at the very top, one, two, three, four. This is really poorly decided because uh, I have no idea. You gave me the short 40. I'll turn the short time. <laughs> oh my god, Steph, you idiot. Alright, alright, alright. Nope, that is not the ratchet. That is also not the ratchet. Where's the ratchet? Ah, oh, is that it? No, nope, that's a seatbelt. Found the ratchet! Will, like, contort my arm. Maybe not. Oh my goodness. Oh, alright, there we go. <laughs> this does not work. I'm now shutting my eyes and just going with the flow. Yep. Cool. Brake booster. I've got the um, the pedals all done painted, so 
It's just rattle cam paint, but it just makes it look a lot nicer and I'm not gonna have like rust thrown in my face <laughs> while I'm installing them. But this is of course the clutch pedal, so that's a new addition. Now, I thought this would be quite interesting for you guys. Um, I'm sure most people know, but some probably don't. So in New Zealand, you have to go through a, um, like a car certification if you do a auto to manual swap. And one of the, the only reason that they require you to um, get a cert plate for, you know, essentially a factory component replacing your car is because with an automatic, the brake pedal is different. So this is an automatic brake pedal, quite a lot larger, um, slightly different positioning. And then this is the manual brake pedal, which is a lot smaller and it's kind of, I think actually the positioning is pretty well the same, but you know, the argument is it's, it's a different pedal. So you have to get the car certified. So obviously I've not bothered to paint this one because this one's going essentially in the trash or if somebody wants a automatic brake pedal. Um, and then this one is the new one getting um, installed. <clears throat> now the um, throttle is still in the car. Um, didn't have any need to remove it. So I've not removed it. Um, so it's still obviously unpainted, but yeah be really nice to have these nice new pieces, new old pieces installed. So we're going to get to that. That's the brake booster there. So I'm just going to try and jimmy the, the brake pedal on this. I'm probably not going to film it because this is just really uncomfortable and it's really hot and I'm very sweaty, but I'll give you an update once it's all done. Full box are just loosely fitted on for now. This one's a bit tight, but if it doesn't fit. Awesome. This piece I'll have to just something about I don't know but I'm sure I can push that around to, to get it in and then all for that I can't find it and I'm not gonna try and find it there's like a little like pin that goes in there so yeah just gonna do that now and I'll get back to you and like that we've got the brake pedal in so it is just these four bolts there are two more that I'll need to put on so there's one and then there's another one just here so I'm just gonna do those two and then it's done this is the plug for the brake light switch it was kind of tight to get to. I've pushed it about as hard as I can, but I didn't hear it click, but I've given it a tug, so I think it is in place. And then obviously this is the split pin here, so that's all done. I had to push this down quite a bit to kind of get it over and around, but I mean, I hope that doesn't cause any damage. Um, so all that's left to do now is go in through here and apply, install the, close the bolt, hold it again there. Uh, but yeah, install the, clutch pedal. The clutch pedal is installed and it's just, it's really hard to see, but it's just two, um, two bolts. This is like studs and so they just go in and connect up to, to this little dongle here. Now, I've just had a quick look online. There's supposed to be like an adapter or something that goes in between, threads onto this and goes in between here. So I need to find where that piece is. I'm sure I've got it, I just didn't realize I needed it. So this is the piece that I needed, so it's just got a thread on that end. And then this obviously slots into the pedal itself. However, I don't have a thing, it's supposed to look like something like this, but this is for the brakes, but something to actually slot in here and lock it in place. Um, I, I don't think the kit came with one, but I'll have a look around and see if I can find anything, but I might have to just put a bolt and thread through and use that in the meantime. Also look, there we go, three. And underneath, um, they're supposed to be, well, Google Images, they have like little split pins and whatever this pin is called. Um, I don't have one of those. So I've just used an Allen key, uh, sorry, an Allen, like an Allen head bolt and then there's just a thread at the back there. Um, it's just like finger tight for now. I want to um, thread block on this end first, but it's just while I'm kind of figuring everything out. I think I've adjusted it right, so it just like, yeah. Easy peasy. I was really worried because originally I had to like wind this thing all the way up to get it to fit and then I realized that like once I bolted this piece in like firmly it was fine. So I think it's all good. I just need to tighten everything because this is all finger tight too. And then we should be sweet. 